Have you heard of a paint and wine night? These nights usually include the beverage of choice and a painting that participants attempt to recreate. Inspired by paint and wine and this Advent season, we would like to propose an, a festive, family-friendly alternative, a paint and cocoa night, or morning or afternoon. And of course, um, instead of cocoa, you can drink apple cider or tea or your hot or cold beverage of choice. As we often already have our trees up to celebrate Christmas, but are still in Advent, our idea for the art to be recreated here incorporates Advent into or rather onto our Christmas trees. Utilizing wooden ornaments, paint brushes, and paint, which all can be purchased at your local craft store. For instance, I got everything that you see here at Hobby Lobby. Um, we invite you to find a symbol or image for each week of Advent and to paint them. Then add your ornaments to your tree on the corresponding week. So here are some ide ideas for symbols that can be painted. So for week one, we focus on hope. So we think of a candle or a ribbon. For week two, we have the theme of peace. So, I mean, our traditional uh, symbols of peace include a dove or an olive branch or a dove with an olive branch, but also something depicting the Holy Trinity can be a peaceful image. Week three, which is the week that we are in right now, is the theme of joy. And we think of things that proclaim joy. So we think of bells and trumpets. And then week four is all about love. So of course we have the traditional image of a heart, but we also have the image of a wreath. You may also paint a mix of these symbols on an ornament, if you wish, to depict the whole Advent season instead of just one per week. For this reflective activity, we are providing a concept for the whole season of Advent. Paint it how you see it and embellish it however you would like. Add your own personal touches. On the front or back, you might add a simple one-line prayer for the week or season, song lyrics, a scripture verse, a quote by a favorite saint, or the weekly themes. So an example of a prayer might be, Lord, help me to receive your hope, peace, joy, and love. So this is the image that we are going to be putting out to recreate for the whole season of Advent. I chose this image because of the different elements within it. The wreath for me represents the Advent season, reflective of the Advent wreath and God's eternal love for us by the circular shape. This was actually shared by Brother Lorenzo in the, his video on the Advent wreath um, on the first week of Advent. I tend to like a fuller wreath, as this for me also represents the fullness of life that God wills for us. The second half of John 10.10 10 says, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I trust that life in abundance also means reflecting on the path of life, where we know it leads, where we hope it leads, and Christ's understanding of it all. The second element is our bells. The joy of, the th of this third week of Advent and the grace of joyous expectation. There are also three of them to represent the ever-sustaining presence of peace of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. One of my favorite quotes is by Ernest Holman. It's, today I live in the quiet, joyous expectation of good. Of course, joy can be quiet, but for our purposes, it is more of a proclamation. And I like to replace the word good with God because God is good, and we know from the creation story that he is the seer, the determiner of goodness. So the quote can read, today I live in the joyous expectation of God. The red ribbon on, my, on the wreath, well, there's a white ribbon on, on this wreath, but on my ornament, I'm gonna do a red ribbon um, because the color for me gives it a classic Christmas feel. It is also a color of passion or fervor and I am quite passionate about this next point. Traditionally, the ribbon is a symbol of unity, of hope. For us as Catholics, it is a symbolic reminder that we do not take this Advent journey alone, but with other Catholics all around the world. Are we even aware of how amazing this is? Of just how much our community of faith extends beyond ourselves and our parish communities? Of how vast God's love is and reaches. So 
love, joy, peace, and hope. These virtues that guide us through this season of waiting, of anticipation, through life and hopefully toward eternal life. These virtues point me ultimately toward the profound truth of the Paschal Mystery. Earlier this week, Sister Lisa Marie mentioned the O Antiphons of the hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. How we mark these final days of Advent with the text of this hymn during the Liturgy of the Hours um, evening prayer each day. Today, we name the stump or rod of Jesse, the promised one who would come through the line of King David. This is why we rejoice. This is what we remember. We remember the fullness of life, the fullness of humanity and inhumanity that God the Son humbled himself to enjoy for our sake, even his ancestry, that we might have the hope of salvation. I heard a quote early on in this Advent season. This Christmas, may we open ourselves up to holy discomfort. The use of these words are meant to encourage us to think of the true nature of the Holy Family's journey. Our Blessed Mother accepting God's will as, as his handmaid to be the mother of Jesus, very likely at the risk of her own life. Hers and St. Joseph's long journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, and then arriving there and not having a place to stay. Their need to flee to Egypt after Christ's birth because their governing power, King Herod, was seeking to kill him. And of course, more happens, but this all draws us to think of the discomfort we've experienced this year. Now, this is my personal reflection on this activity. Me being me, I may take a photo of my ornament, print it out and glue it on the next page of my prayer journal and write down these thoughts, but I am moved also by the beauty of art to speak in different ways to each of us and for the opportunity here and in all things that God has to speak. One of my favorite parts of this season is the joy that seems to come a little more naturally, the spirit of generosity that outflows. But this year, more so than others, I think I'm also reminded, um, I, I'm also reminded that when I think of the wood of the manger, I must also think of the wood of the, wood of the cross. So here is my finished ornament um, with the wreath, um, with the image that we tried, I tried to recreate my image. My painting is a little bit different with the red ribbon and the fuller wreath um, because of my preferences that I spoke about earlier with what each element means to me. Um, but on my ornament, I've actually added another image on the back. So on the back, I suggested that we could, uh, or that you could write a prayer or a Bible verse or a quote by a saint, but I added another image, um, another circular shape. So on the back of my, uh, my ornament is, it's supposed to be a monstrance with the Eucharist, um, our call to remember the Paschal mystery as per my reflection. This is what I trust God is conveying to me through this whole activity. So I pray you all experience the fullness of joy this week. Um, and if you do this activity and reflect as you go, I welcome you sharing your art and reflections with us that we may hear how God is speaking to and through you. Happy Advent, and I hope you all have a blessed day.